Greetings. <clears throat> uh, this isn't exactly authors on the porch. It's more like authors in the backyard with noisy motorcycle people in the background. So I thought I would uh, give you guys a tour of the garden since we're uh, since it's Friday and I'm outside. So um, first of all, I thought I would show you the lovely verge we have here. So we decided at one point to stop trimming and weeding the verge. And what I mean by that is uh, the edges of your yard where typically um, we have a, a fence and we have some bushes. And once upon a time, we were very fussy about constantly trimming and weeding. And the thing is, there's no need for that. Um, what we discovered is, uh, and it's more fun, is that you can just kind of let things go. And we ended up with a lot of wildflowers and um, stuff. I don't even know what all's over there, but there's blackberries and there's uh, honeysuckle. We have the same thing going on on this side, as you can see. Um, we also, we keep ourselves in plenty of bird houses. They're big enough for bluebirds. Uh, we find the wrens largely take them over. I have quite a crop of blackberries. Um, they're doing remarkably well this year. Lots of them. I'm gonna have lots of them. Blackberry cobbler. It's gonna be happening. Um, I also have some uh, sort of little islands of things in the middle of the yard. This has a rose bush and a, a number of flowering bushes, but it also has, if I walk around the other side, you can see it better. Uh, this is my elderberry bush, um, black lace elder, elderberry bush. We, uh, they harvest flowers in the spring. It's quite lovely. Um, more roses and things. This is actually a very small mulberry tree that planted itself. Uh, we have a white mulberry tree out front, and this is a, a black mulberry tree. And continuing to walk along the, the fence row. I'm being followed by the chickens, by the way. This is hilarious. They're just like, she's got to be, maybe she has food. She must have something of interest. I hope you guys could see that. Um, right, so now we've arrived at my secondary, another one of our little gardens here. This is actually a little free library. It's got primrose growing around it. And uh, I made this a couple of years ago. And I had intended that maybe my neighbors would want to use it. In fact, what's happened is that uh, chipmunks and mice have moved in. And so they have a little house in there and it's kind of adorable. <laughs> so I try not to disturb them. I even made a little hole in the back so they can, they have easy egress. Um, Darwin knows they're there. Uh, this is also my rose bush. This is a knockout rose. So it's a rose that will bloom all year round. <coughs> Excuse me, all summer anyway. Uh, quite a number of things. I have bleeding hearts here in the spring. Now my uh, various types of, um, I've, got, I've got daisies, I've got all kinds of fun thick cone flowers in there. But this is all part of my arbor. And that is a uh, very invasive vine called a trumpeter vine, but it does make lovely shade. And we have our little patio here. There is a mama wren under there, so I can't actually take you any closer because it would upset her. Um, we have, I have my tansy, lots and lots of lemon balm, grasses. This is, uh, you would not believe the things that come here to drink from my, um, my bird bath. Every deer, chipmunks, squirrels, um, bees, uh, insects. We're getting to, so my yard does continue on actually, that way. But um, this is the edge of the backyard, which is fenced in. Chicken coop, chicken, chicken. Uh, walking on this side now, we have my, some of my vegetables. This is a, this are my peas, my pea garden. It's actually really hard for me to tell if I'm showing you guys the things I say I'm showing you. I should have switched the camera around, but I didn't. Um, more of that verge I was explaining. This right here is actually nightshade, um, but it's the red berry nightshade. So not deadly nightshade. However, it is poisonous and you should not eat it. <laughs> um, it chose me. I didn't put it there. It planted itself. Here are my lovely peas, my lettuces, and my chard, and other fun vegetable items. We do have a fence. The whole yard is fenced, but also the individual garden is fenced. Uh, and I've had to re-fence, re-fortify a few things because we have baby rabbits who can fit through the holes of the big fence. <laughs> so um, we've got my squash and peppers and tomatoes and garlic scapes, eggplants. All kinds of good stuff in there. Um, 
I used to start things from seed. Then I realized that actually things grow just as well not started from seed. So why go through all that effort? <laughs> oh, back here, also along the other fence, we, I have a patio. Now I actually built this patio myself by myself over a three day weekend. So Mark was out of town once and uh, I decided I needed a patio and I was much younger then. And so I pulled this off and I don't recommend it. So that's that. This here is a trellis. We have some volunteer grapevines. A uh, fun story about where I live, Euclid. Euclid used to be a uh, wine country here. There was a lot of grapes. And we believe that these are just old remnant kind of rewilded grapes that have, that have turned up. Um, oh, hello, Ren. Sorry, the Ren just is following me around now. Uh, rewilded themselves. We have some more garlic. That is a, um, yeah, that's a, that's a fire hydrant. There's a, there's a story behind that. I'll tell you sometime. We have some false indigo. There'll be wildflowers, a little path that leads back into the, into the wilderness. <laughs> that My yard had nothing in it, by the way. When I moved here, there was just grass to it. There's another fence back there. Um, and all of this, the trees, everything, all of this are things that we planted. Up there, we have a, a bat box for bats. Um, and then this is one of our, our wild bee homes. So you can see it's got, we took some wood and stumps and we drilled some holes in them. And uh, that's for leaf cutter bees, flower bees. Hi, Florence. Hi. <laughs> leaf cutter bees, um, flower bees, mason bees, minor bees. Bumblebees tend to, to be underground, so they're not as interested in that. Here's my actual, my other beehive. Um, usually there's a bit more activity. We think that the hive split because they were just very effective. You see the comb being drawn in there, which is fun. This is my apothecary garden of medicinal and dangerous plants. I have uh, bergamot, bee balm, wormwood, foxglove, which is also digitalis, um, quite a lot of other things. Summer savory, uh, ooh, sweet woodruff, mint. Uh, oh shoot, I forget what that one's called. Borage. Forage, lovage, um, and then another little insect home that we've put together here. Uh, just because, you know, pollinators. Pollinators are our friends. Anyway, ooh. so let me keep walking here. Back over to my, I made a rhubarb shrub, uh, which is an, a vinegar-based, vinegar and sugar and various things <clears throat> that uh, from my brother grows in his garden. My brother's also a forager. And shrub is a vinegar that is sugary. It's like a syrup and uh, you can add sparkling water to it and it's lovely. And then I just sit out here and, you know, hang out. So uh, welcome to my yard. Welcome to summer. It's the last day of pride month, but um, we will just keep being proud as it turns out. And uh, yeah, hope you're all well.